Every high baseball. This is heading together. What is it? The fourth time, fifth time heading together. Um, let's see what you got in store for us today. I have a lot of good fun stuff. Uh, I love how he throws in the air quotes. Technically, we haven't even swung a baseball bat yet. It's really like what first five swings that we took at the very beginning. Um, just really just trying to do like a slow uh, build into it. Uh, we're going to kind of repeat some of the things that we did from the first week uh, with just a major focus on trying to re-engage that muscle memory, see if we can try and keep this movement fresh in the body so that way next week when we start swinging it, we can get going with it. Sure. What I like to call YTTs. So we're going to throw the PVC up onto our shoulders. Our hands are going to go above the PVC. We look like a T, and we're actually going to take it off of the T. So we're going to hop on our stance. All of this baseball to be about even with like your left uh, nipple. So we're going to our stance. We're going to take a stride. We're going to pause. We're gonna do that front knee turn as far as we can. We're gonna pick up and turn this back leg. Our main goal though is to not allow this upper half to rotate at all. So I'm here, pick up and turn. From right there, I'm gonna to like to start to turn around my spine. Turn, 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 turn. I'm gonna pick it up off the tee. I'm gonna turn as far as I can. Once I get there, I'm gonna start coming back. Put it on the tee. I'm gonna close my chest, but I'm gonna leave my legs. I'm going to look through that three times, and then we'll reset. Okay. High level set percent? Yes, sir. Can we see a little bit more toast to the picture? Uh, oh, the oh, foot. That's all right. Okay. Yes, sir. There you go. Now we're going to keep that head over your back knee if possible. Yeah. As far as we can. There we go, baby. Feel the burn. I love it. So the main thing that we want to make sure that we're doing right here, come on over here, Chris, check this out here. So one thing that we're going to be seeing a lot of, and what's really important about this drill, certainly when people are swinging on a tee, they're only going to be swinging to that certain spot. So before you get to that ball, your bat plane or bat path may not be what we're looking for to be able to hit this ball if it was actually moving rather than just on a singular point. Same thing with it being a little bit forward. Uh, when we come up here to the top, what we're gonna notice, great job, dude. What we're gonna notice is how he's actually coming to this baseball from behind. This is going to allow, let's say he's a little bit early, a little bit late. This is what we're looking to get called margin of error. So that way, even if he's not on time with his swing perfectly, if we're a little bit late, we can still do something with that baseball. If we're a little bit early, we can still do something with that baseball. You might not see that PVC. Because if I was to have this right here, where the, normally the ball is, if this was to be that pitch plane coming in, we need to be able to get on plane back here and stay on plane with it for a long time. Like I said, a lot of the time when people are just swinging off of the tee, they're so used to just kind of swinging, swinging at a singular point. The idea of timing or a ball being a little bit early or a little bit late can kind of get thrown to the backside. So this is a great drill for people to be able to get used to working behind on a baseball. Let's go high. Hop in your stands. Go that. Anytime that we look to do extreme drills, we're always going to try and pair it up with the opposite. So we just went on an extreme low pitch, now we're going to go to an extreme high pitch. He's going to look to do pretty much the exact same movement, the only difference is going to be how much hip hinge we have. From the belly button up, it's going to be the same movement. It's going to be a turn with the body, and then if I had my bat with me, release the barrel, okay? Now if it's a high pitch, I'm right here. If it's a low pitch, the only thing that changes is how far I stick my butt out. A little bit lower pitch, a little bit more butt up there. Outside of that, belly button up, it's just a turn, and then a release of the barrel. Now pause right there for me. We're actually gonna get a little bit taller, boom, right there, and see if you can stay on that same plane all the way through. Yeah. I have more range of 
Hey, yo, baby, let's go. Yeah, but we're gonna just keep it right up there. Give me one more. We're gonna use this aqua bag. All right, now, we paired up with having it just be a body move. We wanna keep that same idea of this just being a body move, all right? I'm gonna take this guy, and then I call this the T-Rex turn, because we're gonna act like we're a T-Rex. Our elbows are gonna be attached in at the rib cage, and they can't move. So we are just gonna kind of be stuck like this. All right, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the aqua bag, we're gonna hop in our stance, and we'll be back here for it. We're gonna hop in our stance, we're gonna split this up, we're gonna go to that zero to 60 movement that we just did off of the T, all right? I'm in my stance, I'm gonna take a stride, and pause. I'm gonna go front knee as far as I can, pick up and turn my rear leg. Now, what I'm going to try and do is have this side, this left side of my aqua bag, I want behind my right leg. All right, so as I'm set up right here, I'm gonna try and get this side of the aqua bag all the way behind my leg. From right here, I'm going to rotate and turn as fast as I can to make the right side of the aqua bag pass my left leg. Then we'll reset, same thing, stance, stride, front knee, rear leg, pull, reset. See if we can look to try and accelerate with the shoulders a little bit more rather than with the back. Mm -hmm. Let's just let that our elbows being plugged in be enough. And then let's try and get, see how fast, if you were saying like this, how fast can we get to there? one that we just went through, so the small adjustment to it, to the very first one that you did. What, what was the feeling of it? Um, what, what did you notice about it? And then how did you interpret what I said to then apply that? Yeah. I felt the first year, I felt the back here. And when you put it together, I wasn't using my shoulders. I realized I was torquing it. I'm trying to use the whip of this back shoulder instead of pushing this through with the hips. Hey. Once we did that. Well, it felt better once like, we did that? Yeah, we could see the connection more efficient. I was able to twist a little better so I had to get around my arms. Notice is once he strides, he's going to slowly get this backside past his knee. Got it, baby. And once we get all the way on this side, that is us going through essentially an entire rotation, but then also being able to maintain and hold the body position with the aqua bag moving around, changing our center of balance. Give me this last one. Let me see you go as fast as you humanly can when you go. Whenever you're ready, go. Yeah! Yes, sir, baby! Let's go. Great job, dude. Mm. Let's go ply out throws. You remember the zero 60s on this guys? Yep, we're in our stance. We're gonna take a stride, pause, Front knee, pause, rear leg, pause. And we'll actually look to throw these long ways and we'll see how far we can get it. Okay. Allow the momentum of your turn to be what allows the ball to come through. It's the zero to 60 where I stop it. Yes, sir. Stride, front knee, rear leg, whenever you're ready. All right, baby, here you go. We'll do five of these. get to that strike point, we're going to keep our shoulders so always be level to the ground at the stride, but then once we start to turn from our hip hinge, that's when we're going to get that like shoulder tilt, okay? Boom. Then pause right there for me. See if we can bring that chest up just a hair, right there perfectly. So our back plane, which is essentially what our arm is coming through right now doing, is going to generally match our shoulder plane and our hip plane. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a little bit taller with it, 
I'm going to come through like this. If I have a lot more hip hinge, it's going to come through like this. So that's why we saw that difference in going from throwing it up to a little bit more line drive. That makes sense, man. Hey, yo. So do you have one that you can me right now? No preference. I just want us to be able to kind of go through and understand results and how we get them. How we can get there. Yeah. Yeah. One more drill, and then we'll move on to the mini machine. Oh, oh. Little guy. It's going to be tough. It's, it's going to be cool. tough. But, we're going to pull it to All right, sir. So, next one that we're going to look to do. This is a line hop guy. So, our real leg is going to start in the one, chest over the toes. We're going to go from the one to the three, gain balance. Three to the five, gain balance. Five to the seven, gain balance. Seven to the nine, gain balance. From there, we're going to go back nine to the seven. Oh, if you need to, go ahead and put that foot back down. Seven to the five. And if you also need to, when I'm going from this five to the three, if you need to hop around to find balance, that's fine. So if I'm here, and all of a sudden I gotta start doing some like three sixties to then be able to gain balance, to then step back to the one, stride swing, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, reset. That's okay, because every time that your rear leg wobbling i like to imagine it as like a rocket kind of coming back down to earth shout out elon spacex okay so when that rocket's coming back down if it starts tilting one way some rockets on this side are going to fire to keep it in the middle every time that our rear leg is wobbling that's our muscles that aren't used to needing to find balance trying to understand what the relationship is what needs to fire, how much, all that good stuff. So if you guys are at home with and trying anything like this, and you guys, every time you start wiggling, just stop out of it, you're actually stopping your body from being able to make that adjustment for future reps. Yes, sir. We're gonna get five of these. And then once I land back here, I have to get into it. Yes, sir. It's a back to the one, stride, swing, one Mississippi hold, two Mississippi hold. Yeah. Baby. Yes, great job. Yep, perfect. And then I get back to the one, right? Yes, sir. One Mississippi hold, two Mississippi hold, relax. Great job. On this last one, when you hop back to that one, let me see you get like a half millisecond kind of hold on it. Okay. So we'll jump back, one Mississippi, here go. And should I think about the hips being back and forth? Like, so my steps, should I go hips back? Don't even worry about it. Just keep whatever you have, just keep that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah! Throw that thing off, baby. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Great job. Great job. You need anything to drink? Any Iron Wolf or anything like that? Yeah, I'll look at my Iron Wolf. Joe Cotan, check out. Wolfsubs.com. RBI Baseball. 10% off. You actually are going to get a lot more benefits if you use RBI Baseball. Um, one, you're going to be joining a really cool club, um, the RBI Baseball Club. So that's just cool to be a part of. Um, yeah, it's, it's just way better than that Joko 10 did. I mean, he's not bad, but if you had to pick one or the other. We're right over here. We're at the back side of the hit tracks cage. We're going to be running off this little mini guy. We're just going to be trying to get Josh used to tracking the ball, having it coming at him, and with him actually being able to almost catch it. And like a butterfly net. All right, so it's going to be a slow progression to work up to it, but we're going to first start off with just showing some bunt and being able to catch it inside of this guy, and then we'll slowly progress to a coming at you. Let me see 
you sink with those legs. Keep your head close to that barrel. Oh, yeah, all right. Try to walk the ball all the way down. Yep. There you go. You look like a video game character. I know, I'm like teabagging someone. <laughs> there you go. Head a little bit closer. All right, so we just finished up. That was one of the first times we actually had like a ball moving. Um, I kind of want you to just walk through us originally starting off with the butterfly net. How did you feel about that? Was it, I mean, we got these mini guys, we had the ball moving. How did it feel? How successful were we and how consistent were we in being able to catch into the butterfly net? I feel like the butterfly net was pretty good. It was a little bit easier, you know, like I said, a bigger net, small balls there, a lot easier. Um, but I think once we got into the middle back, the wide one was when it started getting a little inconsistent. And I had to realize that I actually had to watch where the ball was going. Massive. And then, so we went from, I think we only got like four in a row or five in a row with a white bat. How many in a row did we get with a thin bat? I think I missed like one or two maybe. If that. Yeah, exactly. So. Looking good, dude. We're looking good, man. Yeah. So, I want to thank everybody for coming in and joining. I appreciate it. I want to give a quick shout out to the man behind the camera. We got Christian back, it's back to, uh, behind it. Uh, head dude for Ironwood. So if anybody's looking to get anything going, he is the dude um, for me and Josh, obviously, obviously. Uh, and for me, if you guys are looking to do anything, rbibaseballllc.com. Uh, all my socials and stuff like that are out there. Uh, dude, fucking great job. Wolf sucks. Joe Cotan at checkout, 10% off.